Are we rolling? We are rolling. I feel like we're more comfortable sat down. No, start off, stud. Stud. Stood. Standing. So, hello, my name's Liam Burke. What are we doing today then? I thought I'd do like a little night question, get to know me kind of thing. So basically we're in Seaview, on the Isle of Wight where I live. So I thought we'd just walk about, answer some questions. But yeah, so I'm here with the incredible Emma Wilkinson, she's behind the camera. And just gonna ask some questions and get to know me. And then I was thinking of doing like, maybe do it again next year and do some of the questions again, see how things change and that. So without further ado, here we go. Just go away, love. Just go home. <laughs> Where's she have to be, love? How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Straight for a swim, that's why I got the wet hair. Gonna have barbecue in a bit, so I'm, I'm on the vibe. How did you start your day this morning? Um, waking up, I had some overnight oats. It's oats with yogurt, some frozen fruit on it in the fridge overnight. Boom, a bit of peanut butter, salted. That's what I started in the morning. What's currently on your mind? Filming this, because I'm in the moment, so. <laughs> So on the Isle of Wight where you live and grew up, what do you like the most about the island? I, the nightlife, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> the robberies, daylight robberies. <laughs> a bit of fun. No, probably being able to be in nature, like very quickly. Like it's only like 30 minutes from the centre to a beach, so that, and also it's like usually five minutes to like a woodland area, so just being able to be in nature very quickly. Talking of nature, do you want Oh, a segue. If you couldn't be a musician, what would your dream job be and why? Well, it'd probably be my previous one, which was to be a street magician, like Dynamo, but I compare myself too much to him, so I gave it up. I'd have my Netflix show and be performing to celebrities and stuff like that, so, yeah. Do you have any irrational fears? Um, irrational fears? I don't think so. They're all quite rational. Death. <laughs> no, I don't know. Are no, you not a rational person? Not rational fears. Do you mean like think things through and that? Yeah. No, I'm not too like I'm open-minded. I think that would be the best way to put it. I'd say. What's the best present that anyone has given you? Their time. Do you have a motto or a mantra that you live by? Beers, booze, banter. <laughs> no. nice. um, it would be wisdom. It's not a matter of age. It's a matter of perspective, and perspective can be gained at any moment, at any age. So you don't have to be old to be wise. You can learn just as much from a young person as an old person. Should we sit down? Do you want to be in? Do you want to be in this shot actually? Yeah. Hello. Oh, I'm in it. You are. Yeet. What's the topic you could spend hours upon hours talking about? Superheroes. <laughs> like Marvel and DC, yeah. I agree. Yeah. If I found you at a pub, what would you be drinking? Probably a pint. Mm -hmm. Or I might be serving because I work at a pub, so you might be buying a pint from there. How do you have your tea? Oh, that's a good question. Well, usually I have peppermint tea, but if I had tea, I'd have breakfast tea with almond milk and one sugar. sugar. What, would you, what would you say is your spirit animal? Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> 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 What's your favourite food? Peanut butter and avocado sandwiches. Try them. How did you get into music? Um, well, just the life of fame and drugs and alcohol just appealed to me so much. Mm. Destructive. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, how did I get into music? Uh, I got into it once in middle school. I was about 14 because I thought it was cool and I gave out because I got bored of it because the teacher only taught us like little riffs. And then I left it and then went to Magic, left that. And then one time I just sold my PlayStation 3 for a acoustic guitar and I never looked back. Nice. What are your favourite lyrics of any song ever? Off the top of my head, probably from Demet Kennedy, the lyric, no one ever got my soul right like she could. I thought it was just such like a beautiful way of putting like being in love with someone just saying like they got your soul right. It wasn't like they love you, they got your soul right. I thought it was a beautiful lyric. Oh, Tommy, come in my What's your favourite song? <coughs> favourite song, um oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you thought about that. Um <laughs> it's eighteen by Sheer Pink. It is my favourite song. It's absolutely so jaw droppingly beautiful. So oh, I'll what? link it down below. <laughs> What's your favourite album? Without Fear by Dermot Kennedy. Oh my god! Welcome! Oh, he's not even going to get in the shot. So it looks like I was saying welcome to someone that's not even coming on the screen camera. now. Come back! Name your top three favourite artists right now. Sheer Pink. <laughs> Liam Black. Um, I would say Demet Kennedy, Harry Styles and Dua Lipa. Nice. What's your favourite song you've written? The one, well, one I've got out is Valentine, because that's a dancey tune. And then the uh, favourite one of all time I've written is a song called The One, which is just like a five minute like rap. But I'll be releasing that on my next EP, so I'll be out soon. What wrote. was the first song you wrote and what was it about? Uh, it was a song called Is This What You Call Love? And it was about my first love and 
I actually played it to her before she even knew and she didn't even know. <laughs> Got her pranked. <laughs> yeah, so that was um fun times. <laughs> if you could form a super group with anybody from the history of music and you're the singer, who else is in the band? I would say all right, so, all right. <laughs> uh, on drums I'd have George from nineteen seventy five. I'd have Harry Styles on acoustic guitar and backing vocals. I'd have Sheer Pink on acoustic guitar and backing vocals. It's an issue. <laughs> um, I would have Kevin Parker from Tame Impala on bass. I'd have Taylor Swift and Dua Lipa on backing vocals. And I'd have John Frusciante from Chili Peppers on lead guitar. But that'd be a band and a half. And what venue would you play? Wembley! Hello, Wembley! Nice. Wembley. Oh, you did not! Oh, it's like really short legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sniffing that ass. <laughs> I see you, doggy. Sniffing that ass. <laughs> Sorry. What would you say is the single hardest part of being an artist? Um, just constant attention and fame everywhere I go. It's paparazzi. Everyone knows who you are here. <laughs> um, it would be... Oh, come on. Come on, I'm get in the shot. shot. Right, he's going to walk past, look in the background. Hey. There he is. What was the question? Oh, hardest part of being a musician. Uh, mm. Probably the trusting the process. Trusting that the work you're putting in is going to pay off at some point, so... Should we move? I think we should, yeah. Let's go over the oak tree. <laughs> oak tree. Oh, hi, yeah. So, welcome to my crib. Here's my grass. And here's my arse. <laughs> okay. Water. Watch this, ready? Oh. Are you ready? I'm not born ready, Emma. What's your favourite part of performing on stage? Seeing people react, I'd say, and dancing. What's the best gig you've been to? Probably be either 1975 at the O2 or... Bonnie Bear at all points east. That was beautiful. If you were forced to sing one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? 18 by Sia Pink. Uh, <laughs> probably Let Me Love You. What's your favourite TV show of all time? The Office US version. Controversial. Ooh. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, teleportation. So I can teleport back off as a fly by going like da 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 like minuscule bits from where I am. Yeah. If you could write a song for any artist, who would it be? Taylor Swift, so I could do a classic country pop song. Yeah. I've already it? written for her, to be fair. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Do you have any nicknames? Yes. I've got Berkey Boy. Tom and Jack call me the... Hello. 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 <laughs> the star of the show. Hello. Oh, um. Hello. I don't know what's in the cat noise. Hiya. <laughs> <Bye, yeah. laughs> Alright, don't be too friendly. <laughs> The dog was friendlier than them. Um, what was the question? Do you have any nicknames? Oh yeah, yes. Tom and Jack call me Dirtbag LB because there's a drill artist, I think called LB and Mel Burke. P Bavo, Peanut Butter and Avo, Cardo, P Bavo, the Avocado Drug Lord. Not so magic Liam because one time I did a load of magic tricks at a party drunk and I messed them all up so everyone thought I can't actually do magic, but I can. Mm. And also Spud because I looked like a potato when I was born. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Your current obsession. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter and avocado sandwiches, or the song 18 by Shoe. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Uh, don't worry. It was by my dad. It's, it was so simple, and he'd always say at the end of him any time he talked. It'd always be like, sound easier said than done, but the simplicity of it has like gained new meaning with me in recent years, so it's just worry doesn't do you any good, so don't worry. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned from being a musician? how you're able to be yourself like you know because I always used to be shy but then doing music kind of forced me to be up on the stage or forced me to then perform and I wanted to do it I eventually found ways to be able to be comfortable doing it so can't say how much you mean to me it's like a dream every second I spend with